Ah, perfect lazy day comprises of waking up, of course, late, sleeping in, and uh, cooking my own breakfast, surprisingly. After traveling for so long, uh, cooking breakfast for yourself is actually such a privilege. You know, when you don't have a, a, an errand or, or an appointment that you have to make, right? That you can actually take your time and just watch the eggs just bubble, you know? And, and that's something that I never thought that I would appreciate. Uh, I thought always going to the hotel, buffet breakfast was my thing. But then uh, realizing that, yeah, this is actually being able to have your own schedule, make your own schedule and, and then play video games. I don't know, go see friends, whatever it is that you want has become uh, a real, something that I treasure a lot. So things that I've always wanted to learn, but haven't, come across yet okay one is singing I would love to get singing lessons I feel like if I got some singing lessons then you know karaoke wouldn't be such a, a, a scary thing I could I could really go out there and just you know I, I would love to get some singing lessons that's that's the one thing I would just got to get around to to doing okay so besides my passport which I think is you know, everyone would go back to get. Uh, I can't travel without earplugs. So earplugs, I can sleep in all these different hotels and also on the plane, buses, cars, trains, everywhere. But I have to have my, okay, two things, my earplugs and my neck pillow. So those two things are, are really, really crucial. The, the, the earplugs really make a difference, even in complete silence. If I'm in a room where there's just, it's noise isolation. I, I still need them because now it feels kind of weird without, without them. And I feel like it's become a psych psychological thing. So I've become dependent on my earplugs, which is awful, but uh, yeah. Uh, don't worry, I change them often. So for me, the type of music that I enjoy listening to really depends on the activity that I'm doing. I, I associate music, let's say if you're going to the gym, I want to listen to some, I really like, you know, sort of heavy hip hop, let's say, or, or even like, you know, metal music, like heavy metal. That will just get me going. That's how I listen to music. If I'm at the beach, you know, it could be pop music. Obviously if I'm working, then it's like, actually it depends. If I'm working, studying the piece of music, then obviously it's whatever that music is. But if I'm working, like emailing, let's say, doing you know admin stuff, uh, do, doing meetings. I I can't listen to classical because it's just too emotional. It's like I, I'll get caught into it and I'll start listening to it too much, and then I can't work on whatever it is that I need to work on. So that's actually become a a thing that I've noticed. Um, classical music really just has this like grip. It grips your focus. That that's like a double edged sword for me. <laughs> Oh yeah, users can uh, definitely listen to me practicing. I, I only practice on tonic, so it's something that um, I've, I've had to learn uh, that practicing is, is not performing, but rather it's something sharing. It's like we're, we're, just, we're just trying new ideas. We're, we're trying things. It's like you getting to uh, perform something, but then having a second chance to perform it again. And then it sort of, sort of blurs that line between practice and performance, which I think is really cool. So yes, definitely inviting you all to my practice room and also the practice rooms of a lot of other uh, great people out there because it's not about being the best performer, it's about being the best practicer. Dog, because they're so loyal, but a cat-shaped dog would be pretty cute too. Instagram. I prefer hot. Um, oh, that's a good one. Coffee or tea? Uh, I'm sorry to my ancestors. Coffee. <laughs> uh, so I would say text first and then call. Like that, that would, that, that's the proper order. Beach, beaches for sure. Like, Always, yeah. So I used to be more books, 
but then the movies just got really, really good. The visuals just have improved. I... Ah, I would say... Ah, b b books still, over, over movies. But books versus TV series. That, that would be more difficult. I'm glad you didn't ask me that. Um, oh no, uh, books versus TV. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, pass, pass. Go get her for sure. I mean, this is, this is not even a, yeah, for sure. Go get her. That's what I've always been. Yeah.